that default is not an option, is that equal to saying, to guaranteeing that there will be a deal? Or is there a viable plan B? So what I can say is there is no, there really, this is the only option that we have is to, for Congress to do its job, for Congress to uh, deal with the debt limit. That's the only option in front of us. That is the best option for the American people. That's the best way to make sure that our economy uh, is not, doesn't get turned on its head, that we don't get a situation where we, lose, we potentially lose up to 8 million jobs or devastate retirement accounts. Uh, that is not an option. So we're, we're being consistent here. We've been saying that they need to do their job. It is their constitutional duty. It's been done 78 times since 1960. That's what we're saying. As it relates to the budget negotiation, those are continuing. We want to make sure that gets done uh, as soon as possible as, as well. It is important for the American people to see uh, what we value and what we see in a bipartisan way that we're going to present to the American people, clearly also to Congress, so that it can get both Democrat and Republican votes. So if there is not a deal, there is no plan B? What I can say is the only option right now is for the for Congress to do their jobs without conditions. That is the way that ne we need to move forward as it relates to the debt limit. Uh, and one more on something the President said during his news conference. He suggested that MAGA Republicans may use default for political gain. Does he include Kevin McCarthy in that? So look, we are working in good faith with Kevin McCarthy right now and with his team. Uh, and the hope is that we continue, to, that continues, right, the good faith, uh, the good faith conversations to deal with the budget, to deal with uh, uh, the budget negotiations. So that is something that I would say. As it relates, you heard me talk about specifically about some, what some House Republicans were saying yesterday, and what we wanted to make sure is that we laid out the facts. And the, that was coming from the House Freedom Caucus, uh, and they were, you heard them uh, argue against preventing default. Uh, and and against negotiating for a bipartisan budget agreement in violation. That is actually in violation of what the speaker has said he wanted and what the speaker has said he's committed to. So we're going to flag that for all of you. We're going to flag that for the American people. But the speaker was very clear last week. He said, actually this week, he said that when it comes to default, it's off the table. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks, Trina.